Hey, Gemini, what's up? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus. This is your astro sex and relationships read. Gemini, some of you might be swingers or you are maybe, you know, up in the libido a little bit. You could be traveling during this time, maybe for swinging, or maybe um, some of you are looking into this more because you might be a adrenaline junkie a little bit. One thing about swingers just in general, it is different than poly and polyamory. Um, people's brains actually look and are wired differently differently. They've done studies, research, MRIs, all the damn things when it comes to swinging specifically. And these are those adrenaline junkies out there. So maybe you are swinging during this time. Maybe you are married and have been thinking about this for some time. Uh, but really like noticing that you have a higher sexual libido overall. And there's just something about time here for you, Gemini, in this read overall. Out of the Hidden Sex Confessions deck, we have sex with clothes on. So this really says they want hot sex without stripping down pushing the panties to the side or surprising them a little bit with sex, okay? For some of you, be careful though. I feel like this could have happened um, potentially in a workplace setting and you lose your job. I don't remember whose read I just did recently that this energy came up. So maybe Aries overall, um, just in general. So I do feel like that is some sort of work affair that could be going on as well as with like the shoes and the suit here. Someone could have a foot fetish here. This could be happening at work. Um, I'm also noticing like a very cool breeze on my feet right now, which doesn't always happen. So that's kind of creepy. So spirit may be coming to you and giving you some messages or like that's a sign to really pay attention to air, you being an air sign, any types of movements around you energetically overall. When it comes to the realist book relationships deck here, you got a light card and this says they require most emotional intimacy before having sex with you. Okay. 79, which breaks down to um, 16, which breaks down to a seven. So really in crown chakra energy and thinking things through before they want to move forward with you. So for some of you, this could be someone you're in a relationship with, someone you might be pursuing at work, or you could even be traveling for like a hookup, a fuck buddy, friends with benefits, one night stand just in general, or you are making some moves forward with partnerships and maybe you're even doing long distance dating maybe that's difficult for you maybe that's why some of you are considering swinging right now and it's like i want to swing into this new life or maybe you're seeking community with swinging as well really making this choice and decision okay with that sacral chakra here overall um out of before i did your read gemini uh i saw a beautiful really big brown like dragonfly and i just was guided to share that message with you um that doesn't always happen but this uh talks about so this is one of my ted andrews books whatever if you want me to link it below let me know in the comments but this says dragonfly time to shine trust the power of your light and your perception to succeed efforts are maturing spiritual path is ahead so with that seven crown chakra here some of you and like the air honing in on my feet or on my feet pay attention to the signs the synchronicities the animal signs spirit really wants to send you messages you could be receiving this in your dream downloads hits intuitive dreams maybe dream journaling in the morning could be really good i know we've had a lot of neptune squares astrologically so you could be having some you like holy fuck i just had some fucked up dreams jackie right so that could be coming in for you and needing to really connect with your ancestors your angels your guides your spiritual animal totems your gods goddesses source whatever you believe in right to really ask before you go to bed like what are the signs and the synchronicity spirit that i'm meant to see or please show me in my dreams like what i am meant to do and what I meant to know. Um, I also touched my heart here. So, and I'm wearing a heart moonstone gemstone necklace. So that could be a really good crystal for some of you to work with during this time. That is a divine connection, um, to your spiritual ancestral team too, especially, um, and trusting your intuition. And that was one thing that I was kind of picking up on before, like really trust yourself, trust your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, your emotions moving forward, Gemini, and really slow down during cancer season to hone in on that and know that everything is within you and really taking that time. But like I'm saying time a lot, and I feel like you are really shifting timelines with this. You could be making some moves for a career with that card and traveling for work. You could be making some moves literally for a relationship. You could 
could be just making some moves like and putting yourself out there in new different types of relationships or swinging or partnerships, whatever. This card says you are choosing to take steps and shift into a timeline, new timeline for yourself. So get ready and excited for these next steps. Your hard work is paying off. I'm really picking up on the feet a lot with this air on my feet, the heels um, in that card too. And then also like next steps. So this is your sign. Take those next steps, Gemini. You can do it. Um, and then out of the Ocean Oracle deck today, we have uh, Amble with Contentment. So nine, waiting rather than acting. This is going to be most advantageous now. So some of you really need to get in like your heart-centered space again with that green heart chakra, trusting your feelings, getting deep down inside and really honing in on this. So really before jumping into something and being all excited, like maybe slowing down and discerning, is this the right relationship for me? Is this the best hookup for me? Is this um, person actually genuine with whatever we're talking about? If it's dating or sex or whatever. So it really takes some time. So we have heart on here coming out overall. First card out of the hidden uh, messages here. We have looking at you makes them rock hard. Even the thought of them excites you. Um, then we have makeup sex. So some of you might be having makeup sex. Maybe you get in a fight and someone's realizing like the fight isn't worth losing you. They're making that choice and that decision and that option. We got curbs coming out. So we have they're in love with your shapely body and it is like an amusement park to them. The more curves they uh, they have, they see, they whatever, they like to explore and really grab your body. So pay attention to that energy. We have celebration sex here. Some of you may be playing a little bit. You may be into BDSM and kink. Maybe you're a dub, a psalm, a, a, a psalm, a nice, a sub, a switch. <laughs> All of those different, yeah, someone's really kinky here. Or you have some sexual fantasies about BDSM and kink. You, this could even just be wearing a mask, sensory deprivation. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart potentially too, because that's one of the things, or even Aries with the eyes and such. Um, um, but really exploring this more. This person could also have like hazel eyes, blue eyes, or green eyes as well that you might want to participate with this and like really luscious lips. I don't know why and maybe dark hair picking up on that overall. But this says whether it's a birthday, Valentine's Day, or an anniversary or a special date between you two, they want to make it very naughty. So congratulations, Gemini. <laughs> I love that. We are just going to clarify makeup sex and see what this is about because everything else is pretty straightforward. You got some people that like you. Um, makeup sex. Yeah, so this is about traveling here. So this might be a threesome. Maybe there was a threesome or maybe someone got triangulated into a situation or a fight like you put your friend in the middle of like you and your partner's like um fight and it's like that person's like why'd you do that yeah you talked about this person behind their back gemini knight of blades air sign energy in the reverse or you know partner or this other person could be an air sign too yep confirmation two of cups in the reverse but you're gonna be moving forward and really needing to hone in on your emotions some of you need to talk about um your partnership your relationship here and i feel like some of you are avoiding some really emotionally important conversations and when you do this you're going to be celebrated moving forward six of wands here but it's about taking action here so we don't have any um earth energy with this yeah some of you might move forward with this person or you might break up with them because maybe this is something where they haven't given you what you wanted but spirit's saying like this is an opportunity to talk about your feelings and be very vulnerable here seven of cups and seven of blades here seven seven this could happen around july 7th the seven seven portal where you're moving forward but there's no earth in this so i feel like don't be so flighty <laughs> don't be so fast with communication um and don't just say let's just get over it or something like that. Um, this person that you have makeup sex with, I do see that this is an important relationship and partnership for you. And it feels like you want to move forward from this and figure out, I feel like some of you do need to get grounded with this because there is no earth in this. Like it's literally fire, fire. And then we had um, air, water, water, uh, air again, as I'm just pulling. And some of you need to take some time to really communicate with your partner, slow down, ground your energy, put your feet outside on the ground in the grass, like to have that really good, I think it's like EEG, like brain stuff. I don't remember if you know, you know, if you don't, that's cool, but it, it replenishes the body and recharges the body 
body in so many different ways and it's just so good for us so i feel like you really need to get grounded before you have these conversations with this person in regards of makeup sex and also understand that like some of you might be upset like yeah we can't just have makeup sex unless we talk about this and talk about our feelings that emotional connection from the beginning here so be careful with this gemini uh and flip the energies in reverse too but really maybe needing to also work on um rituals with this is what i feel like saying page of cups in the reverse this person could be younger than you cancer pisces scorpio potentially or they could have it in their charts and eight of wands this is gonna be something where you're gonna really want to move fast through it into it um and so this is something where just take your time again like i said and confirmation of that move card like showing up here you could also be having conversations about moving overall moving towards this person here and the moon card in the reverse you need to go within subconsciously to understand is this the right move for for me the world card whatever you decide to do it's going to be successful successful boost so we have leo scorpio um leo scorpio taurus fixed sign energy aquarius and then this overall card is ruled by saturn we do have saturn retrograde coming back in on the 29th year of june and it's gonna be testing you know um mutable signs the most so if you have those in your chart here gemini i definitely uh would say get a reading mutable sign sagittarius virgo pisces um you Gemini, duh <laughs> <laughs> wow there we go but knight of wands here moving forward don't be so quick and um fast or too fast to the point of where this conversation feels like it's erratic here some of you you could be making this move and this could be from a boss again or aries or an aries is coming at you and they're coming in hot and then it doesn't feel right or maybe they're bossing you around during cancer season and they're potentially burning you out or burnt out themselves and then they're just using that as an excuse they are coming out of their burnout or maybe you're coming out of their burnout but yeah excuse maybe using anxiety as an excuse maybe this person isn't sleeping at night and you feel like gemini you need to get into your body if this is you page of cups in the reverse again this could be things that you've dealt with since childhood childhood trauma sexual trauma wounding patterns things like that let's move on from that let's just clarify celebration sex because duh we want to call them that energy what is this gemini and as always gemini this is a very general read so only take what resonates with you don't personalize 100 percent of this read to you there's a huge gemini collective out there and uh, some things resonate for some of my Gemini's, some things don't, and that's okay. And that's where you also get to check the other placements in your chart with my reads too, um, and see what comes out for you and really understand like what's going on to get the whole picture with sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus with astro sex, okay? And relationships read. Um, and as always, I've been saying this in my reads lately, but get your own reading done for you. This is something with the collective energy. Everyone's just very scattered. There's a lot of awakenings coming up. There's a lot of signs. There's a lot of things and synchronicities and astrology wise in 2024 that has been really difficult and hard for people here so again just only take what resonates with you boo so celebration sex wow so high priestess in the reverse could be with a cancer delayed until cancer season seven of cups in the upright <sighs> kind of stuck do i want to do this do i not want to do this do i want to have sex with that person this person whatever like you have options and two of coins in the reverse like you might delay this for some time yeah, but Spirit's saying this is an opportunity. Ah, the moon card in the reverse, Pisces. And then we have Wheel of Fortune. Wow, this is like X energy, Ten of Blades in the reverse. Like someone stabbed you in the back. And I feel like this person might be getting their karma here. So we have 10, 10 with Wheel of Fortune as a number 10 in the tarot. And then we have the moon, which is 12. And the 12 breaks down to the three, which is your third house, Gemini. So you could be receiving communication about this. Could be a Pisces, Oregon, um, fixed sign energy, uh, uh, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius and scorpio you could have those in your chart but i feel like you're not gonna you're gonna block this person you're gonna deny this person you might friends on this person you might have moved away from this person because maybe you didn't feel at peace and so now you're calling your power back here okay ferrets foxes um cats black cats gray cats tabby cats could be significant to you pay attention to, to squirrels too and cranes specifically the birds yeah, Knight of Wands. This is something where this person is like too young, too erratic. Um, very much so coming in hot energy. Eight of Blades. You've had to block this person and like come out and play and have your own kind of freedom too when it comes to your sexuality, boo. Uh, I feel like they wanted to keep you stuck. I feel like they wanted to keep you all for themselves. Ace of Coins. Yeah, and this could be our sign energy too where it's like this is not an opportunity that feels 
right for you and I think you're just cutting it off and ending it okay Gemini so again we'll see what comes out in real as fuck relationships we have sexy lingerie so some of you could be buying lingerie right now or that could be visually appealing to you and some of you could be having lots of phone sex because this person might be at a distance or you might be just be looking for that right now um but maybe you're dressing up in lingerie and like facetiming or whatever and doing phone sex that way maybe you are a sex worker maybe that's your industry whatever um but yeah, it's picking up on this energy. Some of you are incompatible um, and it doesn't feel right to you. Sexually incompatible. This person is not there for you. You're not there for them. And I feel like you're going to cut it off and it's messy. Yeah, messy. And see, like how I was talking about communication here, but this is like someone has messy hunger here, but like messy, like they're messy with how they communicate with you or whatever. You could be having messy sex too. And like, maybe you love having sex with pomegranate or foods, um, but their hunger for you makes them act full foolish, unable to contain themselves around you, and they have hunger to overpower you. So for those of you that like that, that's cool. And for some of you, it this just does not feel like a good connection. So again, get your personal reads done if you want to go into that deeper, but that's very specific. So we're going to move away from that energy. Real stuff relationships for Gemini here. Gemini, if you are new, also subscribe to my channel, boo. Help it grow, yo. I'm so grateful for all you Geminis who have supported me. You've been some of my biggest supporters on my channel here too. So again, if there is anything that you take away or you like this read or what resonates with you, then please like this video and comment below. Tell me what does resonate with you too. I love those confirmations, boo. Um, and I will also be doing a discount on my newsletter too soon. Just for one thing, it's going to be very quick, very fast, very hot. It's going to get booked out. So um, <laughs> make sure you you go to my website linked below and get on that newsletter so real spot relationship you got a light card thinking things through and doing what's best for you in relationships here so seven again crown chakra uh light card again here beautiful getting to know this person before you commit to them hashtag slow down feels like maybe that's been a cycle or a pattern in the past in a light card this is beautiful gemini you have so many light cards they're not like the happiest cards in here yeah we have the people pleaser showing up overall people pleasing this relationship because they don't want to lose you hashtag clingy Feels like there's a heart to heart attachment. Maybe you need to do an unhooking, a cord cutting, whatever. Your heart chakra could really be over activated as well. But we have situationship, needing to figure out what you want and go within hashtag intuition remember when i said trust your intuition at this time that's exactly what the energy is that i was picking up for you tell me about thinking things through what does gemini need to know about with this ah four pentacles in the reverse three of cups in the upright one more please so this is with like groups of people okay this is like legit this gives me hangover energy and vibes okay you spend too much time you go out partying drinking and then you're like fuck why did i do that i can't pay my bills i can't pay my money i can't whatever or something happened like at night bad maybe it's sex with somebody hooked up with somebody and then someone's gossiping about you and you're just like fuck why did i do that or you're having negative thoughts and talking shit about yourself gemini um, some of you feel like you need to protect your energy, but you're in self-sabotage. And again, Saturn retrograde is coming around to like test you. Maybe you wanted to give up drinking. Maybe you wanted to give up, you know, going out with your friends so much. Maybe you wanted to give up like drugs, alcohol, whatever. And then sure as shit, you're like, oh my God, I feel stuck here. Like I feel bad when I wake up. I have anxiety when I wake up. I feel guilty when I wake up. I don't feel good when I wake up. And it's like, yeah, you're talking shit. And yes, literally childhood nostalgia. You could be going to travel with people during this time. Make sure that you are being mindful of the karma lessons that you may or may not haven't learned from Saturn retrograde, which could be letting go of addiction, be letting go of going out, be leveling up for your best self here. Okay. Yeah. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. You have seven, seven showing up again. Uh, seven, seven portal is going to be very big for you, Gemini. I haven't said that to any other sign. So it's just coming up in the energy today, really for you, but you really need to be in alignment of your energy. Your money is also your energy, how you choose to spend your money. What do you value? What do you not value? Do you value hangovers and going out and paying for that shit or different drugs or alcohol or whatever? Or no, is it like I'm done and I don't want to be foolish anymore. Aquarius, Aries energy showing up for you. you could be traveling towards this person or this person could be someone who tries to get you to drink um, or like helping you with this. You could be seeking counseling or a wise mentor with this. Someone that's going to really be grounded and solid and help you overall. And some of you do need to rest and give substances a rest is what I'm feeling or give your thoughts a rest a little bit when you're thinking about relationships. For some of you, some relationships aren't healthy and I think you know that. And deep down inside King of Swords, you need to be the leader of your life and cut some people off here overall.
Tell me about get to know this person before you commit to them. Slow down. What does Gemini need to know? Okay, Empress and two of pentacles in the reverse so libra taurus in the reverse this could be someone where you're like oh my gosh i really like them i really like them but then they might tell you they have kids they have grandchildren whatever and they may not have enough time or energy to give to you maybe you know this about them and you should be like yeah i'm tiptoeing around the subject and i want to break up with them on this date here mm -hmm. yeah three of pentacles in the reverse this could be a group situation that you don't want to do some of you could be 33 33 um, could be showing up for you. This is really uh, solar plexus chakra energy, being assertive, setting those boundaries and being confident and holding them moving forward, not falling flat on your face here, okay? Yeah, heavy Taurus energy, double confirmation for some of you. I feel like this is someone has been divorced a lot in the past. Maybe you've been divorced three times potentially or even twice, or maybe this is why you need to slow down and potentially um, get to know this person overall. For those of you that were wondering about, is this person my twin flame or marriage, which I don't really use that word a lot. I know it's a big one in the spiritual community and everything like that. Is this my person? Is this my soulmate, my twin flame, my husband, my wife, my partner, my whatever in the future? And spirit saying no this isn't it okay i feel like you deserve better than this yeah knight of swords and that's something that you're coming out of delulu thinking with this overall in cancer season this is going to be illuminated here you might need to go work with a healer a reiki healer a shaman um a psychic maybe a tarot reader uh oracle reader like just someone that could be very highly intuitive and be able to illuminate this for you if you're not trusting yourself with this overall you could be dealing with a cancer yeah temperance in the reverse uh you could also be dealing with a sagittarius this person is not grounded they're not healthy they aren't making the choice to be healthy they might also challenge your boundaries again here with that golden solar plexus chakra overall magician gemini virgo energy this could be you gemini take responsibility if you need to you could be dealing with another gemini as well here this could also be virgo this could also be multiple gemini placements in your chart yeah this person might have kids and you don't want kids they could be telling you that um they could be pregnant they could have yeah done that and some of you have been heartbroken three times in the reverse and you're still healing so it's like some of you don't need to be dating right now Take what resonates. Situationship, figure out what's going on. Trust your intuition. What's happening here? What does Gemini need to know? Yeah, you've been stabbed in the back by people in the past. And like I said, you're healing. Ten of swords in the reverse. You are coming out of this overall. Some of you may need to cut off an ex or someone that's just not healthy for you. This could be a cancer here overall. This could happen during cancer season. And some of you just are not trusting your intuition with making the right decisions with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You might be needing to learn, yeah, and about friendships or relationships. You might be needing to learn more about relationships, friendships, sex. I am picking up on that energy with like the book here. But this is someone that you had nostalgia with. And I think some of you are giving other people the benefit of the doubt, Gemini. Spirit's like, don't do that, <laughs> okay? Like trust yourself in this situation here. Have the strength, judgment, yeah, and Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God. God, Gemini cut this person off you get something better you need to step into your alignment if you're like why do people keep stabbing me in the back okay why am I hurting and then deep down inside I'm repressing and suppressing my emotions why can't I work on shame or complex trauma in relationships why do I let people back into my life okay Gemini some of you may just be a very pure soul. I'm not going to lie to you. And others of you might just hold on to people for life here and connect with them for too long, giving them too much of the benefit of the doubt here and not trusting yourself in relationships. Now, you need to be in alignment with what you want to call in. So really meditating, practicing mindfulness, getting grounded, working on your chakras, paying attention to your dreams, the signs, the synchronicities. I feel like some of you are going to wake up spiritually and spirits saying like, once you are in alignment to receiving all of this, it's going to feel so much better. So you really need to work on cleansing your energy, overthinking, you're in your head, you're a lot, but spirits like, if you want this, you have to have the strength to make the best judgment calls for you moving forward. And you're going to get blessings here and a blessing may be marriage or multiple things here. Okay. You also have Leo, Scorpio, um, 
fixed sign energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and then Taurus here. You could have those in your chart. It could come around those seasons, but really you have four major arcanas in a row. So it's like, spirit's like, I want to give this to you, but you need to be the one to muster up the courage to also say, no, 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 with the sacral or solar plexus chakra again too. Maybe some of you need to be working on your sacral chakra with sexuality here. Uh, giving and receiving. So really allowing yourself to receive during this time and have balanced relationships. And yeah, like I said, this isn't working for some of you. Eight of Cups, you're going to be walking away from the situation, shit, people. Trust your intuition. Um, hone in on your emotions. You might be also seeking, you know, advice from a family member or a loved one here. Yeah, partnerships on relationships. Maybe you're going to a counselor here too, or maybe you're just seeking someone um, older than you are, like an old soul that knows what they're talking about with this. Some of you are depressed and you want to be able to come out of this, but you don't know what to do. Please take care of your mental health. Seek counseling, therapy, coaching, whatever it is you need, boo, okay? Yeah, invest in yourself and move forward and don't tolerate any less of what you don't deserve, Gemini, okay? Be careful for people pleasing. We're not going to clarify that. That could be going on. Don't waste your time and energy on people who don't make time for you. Hashtag two way street. I feel like some of you numerologically, you might be in the year number nine, needing to close out a cycle and learning to love yourself and validate your sexy self. Hashtag proud. K okay, Gemini. That's very fucking beautiful energy. Like you don't need anybody else to tell you that you're sexy. Yeah, some of you really are manifesting a marriage or a commitment or a relationship or a contract or even maybe even a business contract with all this Taurus energy. Some of you are gonna have multiple offers they're not gonna be a fit for some of them but you will know it will take a little bit longer than you thought but it's gonna be so much better when you wait it's all divine timing with the timelines here manifesting a marriage and work love sex are all the above hashtag commitment we have 11 here showing up for you so brand new beginnings i love that so 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 much for you gemini um let's shuffle out sexual self-care what does gemini need to know new relationship energy here Ooh, six to nine cancer season they're full fine and so Saka, Saka, to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Okay, so you're getting low. Maybe you're dancing or someone's going down on you. You're going down on them. You're getting low. You know what I mean. And flowers overall. So working on sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra here with the flowers, putting ones in your home that can really increase sexual libido overall could be good for you. Some might be jasmine, sunflowers, lavender, orchids, morning glories, poppy, but we have new relationship energy. So you could be having a new relationship come into your life. Congratulations. Some of you might be dating, putting yourself out there after this healing feels good. And again, all my Gemini babies, y'all are on different timelines. And that's just what spirits telling me to say. Okay. But when we have, when we are in a new re relationship, our brain, oh my gosh, our brain gets flooded with happy chemicals okay this is especially true with sex and sexual attachment when we engage in sex with others our dna actually changes them gemini so in case you didn't know but this often times has been known to be the honeymoon day the 90 days new relationship energy know that you're being encouraged to either date enjoy it, bring back the new relationship energy with current partners or a spouse take more time to explore this more so really take some time for you with that sexual self-care boo for my singles out there create this time for yourself like a new relationship energy with myself how do i want to treat myself on a date how, where do i want to go on a date with myself how do i want to engage in a meaningful like intellectual conversation with myself what do i want to tell myself right and maybe some of you just want to be able to treat yourself better and that's a part of maybe getting in alignment is treating yourself better so in spirit can show you like, yeah, you're ready to date now. You're building that confidence. You're asserting yourself. You're creating those boundaries. You're protecting the energy from the people that you don't want to anymore. And you're communicating this in a shameless way, right? Not a shameful way. So first card came out. So we have the twelves again, which again, break down to the threes, third house, communication, siblings, neighbors, um, your energy, Gemini, knowledge, a lot of different things, learning students. So we have replacing what was lost. Now you have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew create with a new perspective or outlook this card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon gemini congratulations oh comment that below abundance is on the horizon or i am claiming this abundance here because that's how you get in alignment gemini and do the damn thing you take that action to manifest it's not just like let me manifest this and put my wish out no you do the damn thing boo. okay so comment that below i attract unlimited abundance Okay. 
let's close this out for you gemini's as always take what resonates with you get your own personal readings done too boo um and make sure to hit subscribe below help my channel grow comment something supportive on this video or what resonates with you and like this too completely free to you oh most important messages please spirit and if you want to be able to get a cool offering that is going to go really fucking fast on my newsletter you better hop on there okay what did i say this whole read listen to your heart okay listen to your mind body heart and gut intuition for what you truly want in life working on heart sh uh, chakra here too pay attention to the synchronicities we talked about that angel numbers music word signs animal signs crown chakra here we talked about this here reiki could be really good for you but you're spiritually transforming it awakening and ascending for your highest good we have receiving i think i mentioned like be in receiving mode oh my god so beautiful ask for what you need because now you're about to receive blessings miracles prosperity abundance and success are yours gemini i'm like smiling ear to ear like i feel like i have botox in my cheeks right now i'm like sore i'm so excited this is such a great read the reads recently have not been good i'm not gonna lie um, so congratulations boo on all the abundance and blessings coming in in and the beautiful double confirmations here we'll get a couple more we have pendulum a lot of opportunities are coming and make the best choice and decision for you yes there's choices like i said this could be jobs relationships just all the damn things karma we talked about this too oh my god your destiny and faded events are coming true we're with you energy vampires yep cut them off let go of people things from the past, this is for your highest good. If you want to be able to sign up for my Protect Your Energy course in the future, Gemini, you definitely want to get on that newsletter. It's going to be my lowest price offering. And you guys come hang out with me for a little bit. We have astral travel, okay? So some of you need to pay attention to your dreams. You're leaving your body during the dream state, exploring and traveling the spiritual world during this time. And we have co-creation, another 12 here for the number three here. Now is the time to create. You have untapped creative potential. Do it now, do it now, do it now. Woo, 30 minute reads, Gemini. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Call in those blessings. Your abundance is coming. You have so many beautiful opportunities coming in. Pay attention to the angels that are around you and make sure that you are letting go of those who don't serve you. I know that's easier said than done. Uh, maybe pay attention to the astrology like it's seven Saturn retrograde coming in and what you need to know for your particular birth chart here too and get grounded and meditate boo okay do what you gotta do Gemini thank you thank you thank you so much for being here check the other placements in your chart okay babe and stay tuned for more and stay shameless